Now, one of the big wins tonight was by East Chambers. They knocked off Orangefield, taking over first place in district play. Tyler Segerman standing by live out at FL McLean Stadium right now. Yeah, you know, I was actually one person who actually was hoping for the cold weather to come. Uh, maybe I asked for a little too much because the wind is right now blowing right at me, so I had to put on the jacket. But despite a chilly night, the East Chamber Buccaneers offense was hot, and it all started with running back Knowlton Shelvin. He took a reverse uh, in the first quarter and just went all the way down the field, 70-plus yards without even being touched, to put East Chambers uh, on the board. They led it 7-3 after that. And then in the second quarter, he scored again, just walking right in on Shalai. Nolan Shelvin with two rushing touchdowns in the first half to pull East Chambers ahead at halftime. And then in the second half, it was really more of the same. East Chambers came into the night with uh, 300 yards rushing per game, and Ernest Caesar capped off another touchdown. Uh, they led as much as by two touchdowns in the second half and uh, came down to really the last five minutes of this game with East Chambers failing to convert a fourth down. The defense came up big. They got the Bobcats to stop on a fourth down conversion, and obviously that sealed the win for them. So with the win, East Chambers improves to 5-1 and one on the season. But more importantly, they remain undefeated in district play. Next week, they will host Kirbyville uh, as an, another district game to uh, move on to the rest of the season. So again, East Chambers 28, Orange Field 23. Ashley Mike, back to you guys.